I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. We want to go to the house of the living God. We want to go to the house of God because we believe in the power that is available in Christ to all who believe. We believe in the power of the full and finished work of the cross and that power is released to us today. My dear friend, I want to take a moment, even in this time, in this season, there is so many things happening and I've done this before, but I want to do it again. I want to take a moment to pray for you, to pray for your loved ones, that they will come to Christ. You might be here and you're watching this, you're listening to this right now and you're trusting God for your family members. It might be your children, it might be your parents, it might be your brothers, your sisters, it might even be close friends. It might even be certain people in your community. You're trusting God that they will be saved. I want to take a moment, even in this time, to pray for them. I want to tell you, my dear friend, in accordance with the Bible, God desires that everybody shall be saved. And the gospel is good news. The gospel is good news because God has made a way where there seemed to be no way. Now in Christ, not only the holiest of holy people can enter in, but it is open to all. All can come through Christ because Christ has paid the price for our sins. And in fact, to correct that statement, I want to tell you, even the holiest of holiest people that you can find still make mistakes. The Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God. So where am I going with this? It doesn't matter what your son or your brother or your sister might be doing at the moment, or your father or your mother, they might be into drugs, they might be into different things, and it looks like there's no hope. I want to tell you, in Christ there is hope. In Jesus there is hope. And this is why it is the good news. God is able to save people from their mess. God is able to pull people out of the worst mess possible and take them back to Himself. Maybe you're watching this video and you're in such a position. You love God, you seek God daily, but you make mistakes. God is able to reach out to you and is able to pull you back. He's able to put you into a place that you are close to Him and this is through Christ. You see, when Christ died on the cross for us, He paid the full and the complete price. There is no more price that needs to be paid after that. Christ has paid the full and the complete price. Christ has paid the price so that you can be reconciled back to God, so that you can come to God, so that you can be born again, so that you can be saved. And what's even better, my dear friend, when Christ rose again on the third day in accordance with the prophecies, you see, there were prophecies given before this all happened. And it happened exactly how the prophet said it would happen. You see, it didn't end there, my dear friend. He rose again. And when he rose again, he rose again in life. And he brought us life. We rose again with him so that we can have life and life in abundance. I want to tell you, my dear friend, if you are trusting God for your family members, if you are trusting God for your children, if you are trusting God for your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your friends to come to Christ, it is possible they can come to Christ and that is the good news. Christ has opened up the way so it's simple and it's available to everyone. All we need to do is pray for them and God will use that seed of prayer and He will use that to reach out and touch them and save them and they will be born again. You know, I've, I've, I've been amazed. I've been amazed at the power of prayer. I've seen so many people who their lives were in a mess where people, other people out there had actually written them off. They said there's no hope for this person. And that person right now is a person who is impacting nations. I've seen this happen. God can take the worst of the worst and turn them around and make them the leaders of nations, make them the leaders of tomorrow. So it doesn't matter what your family member might be going through. It doesn't matter what your, your sibling, your son, your daughter, or even you, if you're watching this, maybe you've got something in your life that's holding you back and you're struggling to stop, it doesn't matter. God can take you out of that place and He can set you on higher ground on solid rock so that you will be firm and stable, so that you will be standing on the solid rock and you won't fall again in Jesus' name. Now let's go into a time of prayer. I discern God's presence. I discern the anointing. I discern 
the move of God. And I know, like I know, God is going to bless you. He's going to reach out to your family members. He's going to reach out to whoever needs to be reached out to. And they will have a chance to salvation. Remember, my dear friend, God desires that everybody shall get saved. And when Christ died on the cross, He didn't die for a select few. He died for everybody. He died for everybody. So whoever would receive Him, He would give the right to become children of God. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So God gave His Son for everyone. Christ came, He died, He paid the price. And whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So just believe even as we pray and God is going to bless you. So in saying that, we're going to begin by praising God. And even as we discern the presence of God, then we'll begin to pray. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to intervene and is going to do something special. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise You. We thank You for Your grace. We thank you for your love that is demonstrated through the full and finished work of the cross. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. You made a way where there seemed to be no way. Lord Jesus, you reconciled us back to the Father. Father, we give you praise for your goodness. We give you praise for your love. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. We give you praise for that. We give you praise that everyone, even the worst of the worst, can come to the knowledge of salvation and can be changed and can be brought back to you. We give you praise and thank you that that is possible in you for all those who believe. And I thank you, Lord, that even today as we pray, the healing anointing will be released. And whoever's watching this video who might need healing in their body, apart from praying for salvation, whoever's watching and might need healing in their body, they will receive it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. My dear friend, even as we are praising God, I discerned that the healing anointing is going to be released and God is going to do something mighty. God is amazing and is wonderful. Right now, even as I record this, my hands are on fire. It's, it feels like that. The, the anointing is so much and I want you to know God is going to bless you and He's going to take you to a greater glory. Now, in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Take over control of my life and of my family. Reach out to those in my family who have not yet come to Christ and convict them on their hearts and show them the right way. Convict them so that they may not spend eternity in hellfire but they may have an opportunity to be born again and saved. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on Daily Prayer List. Fill in your prayer request, click Submit, it's going to come through to me. I'm going to trust God with you. And I know, I trust, I believe God is going to bless you. In fact, if you have any family members that you are trusting for, go to my website and submit their names so that we too can pray for them. And we can pray for them by name and they will be saved. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Right now, if your dear son who's watching this or your dear daughter who's watching this is trusting for someone to be saved, for someone to come to the knowledge of salvation, for someone to be born again of water and of spirit, for someone to give their life to Jesus and come to know the truth, I pray that you will release the grace right now that that person, that individual who we are praying for right now will have an opportunity. Release your power and convict my dear friend. Convict the person who we are praying for, who my dear friend who is watching this video is praying for that that person will begin to see the truth, that that person will begin to see that the way is Jesus. The only way is Jesus. He is the Savior of the world. Release your angels and wherever there's any demonic spirits that are blocking the salvation or blocking the opportunity of salvation for any relatives or friends or family members of my dear friend, release your angels that they will arrest those evil spirits bind them up and cast them out by fire and by force. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray, let my dear friend's relatives be born again, be saved, 
and come to the knowledge of salvation. There is no more important time than now to come to the knowledge of salvation. And Father, I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, do it. Do what only you can do. Do something new. Father, right now, if my dear friend is that person and there's certain sin in their life, and they feel condemned and they feel convicted and they feel guilty because of that. And they've tried everything to be released from that, but no matter what they try to do, they can't stop. Father, I pray that you will release that grace today so that they may be able to stop, so that they may be able to change. And this is not, I'm not praying this in such a way to condemn my dear friend, but so that my dear friend can experience the fullness that is available in you to all who believe. I give you praise and I thank you for this in the name of Jesus. Right now, if my dear friend is watching this and my dear friend needs a healing, let a healing take place. Let a healing take place. The healing anointing is here. Father, let it go over my dear friend. Let it pass over my dear friend right now and touch my dear friend. Father, by your power, by your presence, by the power in the name of Jesus, let healing take place. Let deliverance take place. Deliverance from all infirmity. Deliverance from all illness. Deliverance from all oppression of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Emotional healing. Let it take place. Let emotional healing take place. And let reconciliation take place even right now. Let it begin to start happening. Father, I pray that relationships that were broken because of things that went wrong because of mistakes, I pray that somehow, divinely, they will be reconnected and those relationships will be restored, but not back to the way they were before, but to a new way, a better way, where those people will not fight, they will not treat each other bad, but they will treat each other with the love of Christ. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, you are blessed, and you cannot be cursed. And I decree and declare as a man of God, you shall be saved. Your children shall be saved. Your family shall be saved. And even as there's a saying out there, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. May it be so with you. May you serve the Lord in business, in ministry, in your career, in wherever God has called you to be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.